as it's Sunday night. And that is Sunday night service. That's what it means. Dr. Motley's not here, but we are talking big, fat, healthy food tonight with the one and only spinach tiger. Angela Roberts thrilled to death tonight. She just walked in here. Let me take a toast. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. I guess I should too. All right, yeah, a little bit, little bit. Sunday night, we have to have a little, you a little know, a little bit of up. wine. That's exactly yeah. right. Okay. As soon as you guys get logged on, as soon as you get on, I need you hitting your heart buttons, your like buttons, hit start a watch party, yes. all right? All night long yes. tonight, you are going to want to share this, all right? Hit your hearts, hit your likes, share it. As soon as you get, as soon as we get on, I just, I just got mine up here, to all of your tribe, because let me tell you something. You're going to hear Angela's story tonight. The, the reason that she is the spinach tiger and her, the story behind it and what she's doing now. And would you look at what she just brought me? Oh my goodness. And these are, these are called um, Lala cakes, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, sugar free, healthy for you. Avocado oil is the oil that we use, and th um, two, three of those are also dairy. -free. I cannot believe it! I'm so excited. So, so you guys know I'm a huge fan of the Mediterranean diet, right? And I ask patients to go gluten, dairy, soy, corn, sugar, egg, peanut free until we know what's going on and for sure stay gluten, dairy, sugar free, right? Mm -hmm. Not everybody has an egg sensitivity. I happen to have a little bit of one, but not too bad, but dairy and gluten are the big ones for me. And of course, sugar, so addictive, oh, for right? Everybody. I'll just, yeah, for everybody. It, absolutely. Right. So tonight we're going to talk about what Angela's done. Angela and I have known each other, I don't know, five almost years, almost five somewhere years. right almost around five right years. when I got my diagnosis. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And so she, I just fell in love with her. SpinachTiger.com. You need to go. Don't do it right now because we're talking tonight. You need to go and you need to sign up for her newsletter. She has over 1,100 recipes on there that she herself has created. The book that I am writing, I hope to goodness that we have Angela's recipes in there and some collaboration a little bit in there because I love to support her and the book comes out in the spring and there you go. So anyway, I'm going to let Angela take it over and tell her story because it's fascinating what she does and it's what I do every day, right? You need to eat well, sleep well, move well, poop well, decrease stress, have joy, cultivate community, Absolutely. all the things all that Angela it. preaches all on her it. videos yes. every week. Yes. So okay. take it away, Angie. I'm so excited about this. I'm a little nervous. Oh, but good it's gosh. Like, it's, it's, it's a computer it's in a the kitchen no, it's with a, me. It's a great nervous. I'm a little nervous because I could talk on this all night long. Oh, I don't Lord. have all night. So well, I have to cut condense. it off. Yeah. I got to condense. So I want to talk a little fast. I'm Italian. I can do that. Um, I have a master's degree in clinical psychology, but my big focus in psychology was how people learn and how people learn to eat is really important to me and how it affects the brain. So you that's bet. kind of something that drives me and my love for people. I wouldn't have studied psychology if I didn't love all of you, all my readers, everybody out there. I have a big passion for food. I'm that's Italian. right. I love to eat, but I I am a proponent of the joy of eating, and I want to talk about what that is because it's not binging. It's, right. And it's not food addiction. It's experiencing joy from the moment you anticipate you're going to eat. I love the anticipation. Oh, I love the Put anticipation. Put it in your mouth, and it comes out the other end properly. Isn't the that right amazing? Way. Yes. One big tube. One, And then when the it's mouth. in there, it's doing all the good stuff. It's like an army of food is going to work for you. And if you don't have that, then it's not joyful. That's it's right. not how we were meant to live. We were meant to live a different way. Yes, we were. Um, so I started a blog 11 years ago because I was looking for my food people and I couldn't find them at the time. Years ago. 11 years ago. And I knew as soon as I hit a food blog, this is what I meant to do. I told my husband that night, I'm going to do a food blog. And I was dead serious. Nothing could, wild horses couldn't take me away wow. from this passion and in 11 years I haven't my passion hasn't died it always helped me flourished so in the beginning it was like Italian food and it was healthy food I was afraid to use the word healthy because I didn't want to turn people off and that's something I was like oh if I say healthy then they're gonna go away from me but I'm gonna show people real food whole food I won't do canned soups I won't do high fructose corn 
syrup. I'm not going to do easy stuff out of the box. I'm going to show real food. Right. Time goes on, time goes on, time goes on, and things start to change. Obesity is going up. You bet. And I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's five years ago. She told me to go gluten-free. I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to So she was not gluten-free when she came into me, which is I quite know. interesting. And now you should see the whole transition. Oh, no. And not for like a year. And then no. I started having a hip pain and couldn't walk without pain and look like a real old lady. So I did go gluten-free, put a couple recipes up. They were popular, but then I started to notice something. You don't lose weight on rice flour. You bet you don't. You gain weight. Yes. And yes. then I started to think, there's got to be a better way. Yes, okay, my hip pain went away, but there's something missing. And somebody told me about powdered erythritol, which I use Swerve, and that's a sweetener that's not going to give you cancer or kill you, and it goes right through your body. Um, without spiking your blood sugar, and there's a whole article. I have some in the cabinet. I've never even opened it. There's I don't even know. I've never used it because I never use any sugar. So right in here. Well, this yeah. is for baking. Okay. And you know, and I don't even really have a sweet tooth, but I had friends diagnosed with diabetes, so they're coming for dinner a lot. I'm going to use this. Next okay. thing you know, I start baking with almond flour, coconut flour, and putting out some keto friendly recipes. And they just shoot to the sky. Yes, they and do. I'm like, oh my gosh, people are loving this. Well, I'll just do more and more. But as I'm cooking this and doing this, I drop five pounds. And, that's and I'm not really on a diet. No, I'm not skinny, but I'm not really like on a diet either. I just stay the same. Like I you was, do. I never same fluctuates. Same. Same I thing, same I've, thing. I lost five like yeah. the last time at yeah. your thing, and I had weight for a year. So I was like, what? That's cool. And that's something. Yeah. And you're yeah. eating big, fat, healthy food. Big, fat, healthy something? food. Um, so uh, one of the things I want to talk about is we have an obesity problem, and it doesn't surprise me. Let me tell you what surprises me, and this is going to surprise you. The way the food companies have, they're sinister. They sit in, they don't sit in kitchens and prepare food to sell in their boxes and their bags. They sit in food labs. You bet. And they do like this. You bet they we're do. We're going to get profit and they can't stop eating. And we're going to trick and hack their brain. We're going to ruin their brain. We're going to ruin their health. And it's really okay because we got a lot of profit and they will eat 10 times what a normal person would eat. Like I said, it's the same thing with this right here. Sinister. Don't think that this is not designed to be addictive. Right. It's the same as right. the food industry. This was not designed no. to just be a phone. Agreed. This is addictive. If you don't think it is, try turning it off for four or five days. Right. Okay. Right. For like four or five too. hours. Or how about an hour? I, I, they asked yeah, us to yeah. turn the phones off at church today because the whole service was on this addiction of this yeah. phone right here and yeah. how it's designed. Yeah. And there was this collective. <gasps> In the church, he in the church. So we pulled our phones out and turned it off. I turned mine off, and then yeah, yeah. So awesome. so they're yes, right. they are designed in food labs and in here's labs. The, this is science, and, and this he, is addiction. Right. And this is yes. But what what I'm gonna say, I think, is gonna make your mouth drop. The way it's going, I'm not surprised that we have this 50, 60 percent obesity. I'm surprised we're not 100 percent. The way we're going and the plot and the plan, conscious or unconscious, uh, the, the design of food, the fast, the easy, and the perfect cocktail of fat and carbs that hits your brain and changes your brain, changes your taste buds and tells you, you are never satisfied. You are yes. always hungry. They want you hungry morning, noon, and night. And it's sad. And I don't judge people when I see an overweight 25-year-old girl. I know what that's like. I cry inside because I'm going to tell you my story. When I grew up in a very chaotic childhood, so much cortisol, so much stress, 48 addresses by the time I was 18. 48. Uh, eight grade schools. So you can only mm. imagine. And each year I gained 20 pounds each year and I was the fat girl of the school and I was called fatty and I am an introvert. I'm an extrovert if you like me, but if you look at me wrong, I'm an introvert. So I hid in the house the whole of sixth grade. Uh, what became agoraphobic because I was so afraid people would look at me and my fat. Mm. And at that time I was like 169 pounds. I didn't even, you know, not even like that. But all my friends were like 110 pounds. Right, right. So when I was 17, I got on the scale it was the worst year of my life. I had six addresses. My scale said 197. Oh, now I at come, 17. At 17. And I come from a thin family. When you're 14 and you can't fit into your mom's clothes because she's skinny, 
It's horrible, right? I'm 17 and all I ever heard, she's a pretty face, if only, you know. And I don't blame them because it's true. It was true. Like, that's terrible. That's kind of like terrible, right? Oh. And the boys, you know, would say I was fat and it was like I did get a boyfriend because for miracles, but it was really horrible. So, anyway, I put myself on a diet, not my family. I put mm. myself on a diet. Mm. And I saw a little book in the store and it said, like, Dr. Stillman's water diet or whatever. And I'm like, oh. okay, I lost 30 pounds in 30 days. Oh, Never gained a pound of that back. Now that's a that's a miracle in itself. Well, because I didn't stop. Because as a rule, yes. we gain the weight back at yes. twice the speed yes. after three cycles of dieting, guys. Three, three different diets, right. right? You lose the weight at half the speed and you gain it back at double. The I speed. believe that. Yes, but that's I, what the research shows. I was so determined. determined. Well, when my boyfriend took me to Washington DC to the zoo at 17 before I lost the weight, I had to stop at every bench and sit. Oh, now goodness. I'm an active person. I've done a marathon. I've been working out my whole life. Everybody knows I'm a seriously active person now in my adult life. But at 17, I couldn't walk from one exhibit to the next without hurting legs. So I feel for everyone. I don't judge. I don't go, oh, look at you. I don't think like that. I think you have been taken and your power has been taken away from you. Your joy has been robbed. You're, you're going to commune less. You're going to be addicted more on the phone because you can hide. Yes. You know, you yes. don't have a social life as yes. much. And you're not sitting and eating. You're eating privately, sneakily, binge-wise. People are doing this. This is what's happening. Yes. And it's lonely and it's sad. And in 20 years, you're going to have knee replacements and you're going to be on a scooter when you're 50. That's right. You're going to have and, diabetes, which well, is the scariest disease of all to me. You're gonna, it's, and, and, and then you're going to have diabetes Alzheimer's, because that's means, type 3 diabetes type now. Three. And so, yes. so, and I just taught all on that Friday night at the Hashimoto's meeting if you weren't yes. there. But it, it's it's just a vicious cycle. And oh. unfortunately, our this generation of children right now, these grade schoolers, these middle schoolers right now, the research came out probably five or six years ago from the CDC that this is the first generation of children who are going to die before their parents. The first generation of children in the history of the United States we have never buried our babies before us, majority. Not in and this And that's way. what's going right. to happen. Right. Now, is there going to be in a casket in the funeral home before before the parents? Yeah. It's heartbreaking. It's and heartbreaking. we've done it to them. And we did it. pregnancy is going to be very difficult. You bet. I go to a lot of events now. And in the 10 years, the events have changed because the, the millennial, that generation 20 to 30, that was 10 years old when I started. Yes. They, they it, it's, it's, it's sad. Yes. It's over 200 pounds. It's so sad. I want to help these people. I want to take you and say, let me pull you away from the sinister food companies that are hurting you. Let me show you a way to really love food. You yes. love food. I love food probably more than you do. Yes. And you, I want you to go into a clothing store and have a joyful time. I know what it's like to go into fat stores and look around to see if anybody was looking looking at me or put man, men's pants on, you know, I know what yes. that's like, yes. you know, oh, I can get the men's size 38 pants, at, you know, and put those jeans on, oh. you know, it's, so I know shame and I know victory. So let's not talk about shame. Let's talk about victory. Yes, do it. And it's all here. You bet I it is. used to smoke and I used to think this is years, decades ago. Well, maybe they'll have a cigarette that's healthy. You know, I'm not giving up my cigarettes. And then, because it's just, <laughs> and then I'm not giving up a cigarette. Okay, so this guy told me he quit cold turkey. And I yes. said, what? He goes, I said, was it hard? He goes, no, I just decided. Ah, uh, just decided. Well, for about five years, his words stayed with me. And, it, and, it, it, and he increased my mental strength. If he can do it, I can do it. When I did quit smoking, I didn't gain weight. I didn't look back. I didn't have a withdrawal symptom. What I'm saying is our mind is powerful. Mind over it's, matter. I'm telling you, it is it. true. And so getting the sugar addiction, yeah, it's yes. going to hurt a little bit in the beginning. It, or a it, lot. Or a lot. Or it could People hurt People do a lot. withdrawal. They yeah. hurt. Anything. But, right. Just busting through it right okay. so what's on the other side yeah what's on the other what side is, yes oh my gosh you'll be able to go to dinner you'll be able to eat and but and i have some bad news and i'll tell you in a okay. minute you know but the good news is 
I can honestly say I'm very happy. I can honestly say I love food. I cook food. I eat food. I have friends over. I do not tell them that this happens to be a low carb meal. I, yeah, don't say anything. I don't need to say. No, that. you don't have to. Because it's all beautiful. Yes, and that's everybody right. eats it. And when I take it. my food to my church group uh, every third other Thursday night, my food's the first to go. Yeah, and they're not the healthiest crowd, but my food's the first to go. That's something. So I want to say that. Now I want to say what keto is and what paleo okay, is. Okay, good. There's a big, you know, misinformation out there, or just confusion. There's actually a lot of good information out there. Keto is basically, so I didn't mess it up, it's high fat. Most of 75% probably of your calories should come from healthy fat, not cheese, in my opinion. Avocados, olive oil, which is the key to life, by the way. Uh, and a moderate protein, not seven steaks. Right. So you right. Know, forget Atkins. Right. And up uh, healthy carbs. Now the, the thing with the carbs, it's about twenty five net carbs. Net meaning a cup of broccoli is six carbs. The fiber is like two point four. So let's just say two. So that's four net carbs. So that's four of your twenty five. If you're going to do keto, so you subtract. The fiber, the fiber from the, from the carbs, from and the that carbs. gives you oh. Okay. My cakes are one to three carbs, so it's not carbs with fat. They're high fat. We're talking almond flour with your fat and avocado oil, and you can go to spencetiger.com way later, like tomorrow. And yeah, not right now. The don't you dare leave bar, and You can see the the home bakery that I have, which is so busy, by the way, and crazy. And um, there's something that. This is for this is for Danny, and this is for me too, and it's for my husband who's right over there. The Mediterranean keto diet. There is such a thing. I didn't even know there was such a thing, and yes. I googled it today after you sent me your, the outline, and I was like, "Well, look I at those it. books. When are you gonna?" Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Keep talking. I know. She so needs a it's book. It's like fish and and uh, chicken and and eggs if you can eat eggs. Yes. And, but salads, greens, and red wine. So these are yeah, like this the most. Is delicious things in the world and um, you just keep to the 25 carbs now on 25 carbs okay on this minute maybe some people have to do 20 and here's what I want to say keto is not for everybody it's okay. not well there is nothing for anybody but everybody. grain free and sugar free is for everybody amen and getting rid of uh, boxes and you bet you know, boxes bags cans so tubes rolls fake man-made food what. And I just if you're opening up yeah. out of a box or a bag, it's fake. I'm sorry, it just is. It just is. The only now there's a couple of things like swerve. Swerve is in a bag. Keep talking about that. I'm gonna. And grab there's some um, my cento, my 30 minute tomato sauce. I use cento San Marzano tomatoes out of the can, and then I show people how to make a delicious, no sugar, fantastic, authentic Italian tomato sauce. That's probably one of the few cans that I use, and I will buy organic chicken broth. So I will do that. And um, I this this it, this isn't my cat. I've never even opened it. I don't even know how to use it, but I, I bought it. And it is it's tricky. We'll talk that's about it later. I, yeah. And, and that's a company in the United States, like seven full time employees. That's what I love about that. Yeah, I have a great relationship with that company because I I love them so much. Well, it much. has one ingredient. Um, erythritol. It's, it's erythritol. That's it. And then the carbs oh, wait, are, like sugar, are okay. sugar alcohol. They explain right on their website. Can you just whole, eat it or like, does it taste horrible? No, if you taste it, it doesn't taste horrible. No, okay. it tastes, it All right, tastes keep bad. talking. Okay. Um, so I don't want to shame anybody. I don't want to even tell people to go on a keto diet. My life is, uh, happiness has been eating low carb. And when I now enjoy the keto lifestyle, I just don't think about eating. I just, just, I am so pr in my head, know what to do and what to eat and how to eat. And you know, we, if we go off of it, I'll know right away. My body will know right away. Do you but count your cards I, on it? Or do I, you just know I, in your head? You've done I'm it so I'm one long. of those that knows in my head. Okay. Yeah. Cause I'd have to count everything. I don't are, know cards. There are calculators. That, okay. And, and my husband uses an app where it, he counts the carbs, but let me tell you something else that a lot of people don't realize. You have what? to count your calories. You cannot go to 3,000 calories of cheese and bacon and then expect to lose weight on the keto diet. You're right. Now, and all food is not created equally, and I'll tell you a little you bet. story. I tried that intermittent 500 calorie one day, 2,000 calories the next. Yes. I, I did it for a month. He lost weight. I gained weight. 
Now, that averages 1,250 calories a day. Why did I gain weight? Because on my 2,000 calorie day, for the first time in my life, I'm like, oh, I'm going to eat like big fat pancakes. I'm going to try all kinds of things that I don't normally eat because I'm only eating 500 the day before. It didn't work for me. Okay. Because calories aren't equal. Because yeah. calories on my body that come in the form of starch and starchy carbs and everything just fatten me up. Because I guess I was meant to survive. I don't know, you know. So it's, yeah, yeah. It's just so I know that about me, and so maybe that works for someone else. But it, it's not a healthy thing because you just eat all kinds of junk on your good in the day you can eat. Right. I don't recommend right. that kind of thing whatsoever. I learned my lesson though, so I could share it with with you guys. That's right. Um, so the keto calculator. Okay, the difference with paleo. Paleo is, of course, hunters gatherers. Uh, let's just eat grass fed butter, grass fed. Um, meat, which we know is healthier than not grass-fed. I do eat grass-fed. And too. it's all vegetables and it's all fruit. And then they allow for two sweeteners. It's no beans, no grains. So a lot of people got off a lot of junk and did very well with paleo. So I'm not going to put it down. Only problem is, what happens to us? Let's put that maple syrup on everything. So you can have maple syrup and coconut sugar, maybe coconut sugar, and uh, honey. Now, some people like me can't do maple syrup. So if I was a sugar addict and I went on paleo, oh. I could just dump maple syrup on everything and say, I'm paleo. So oh, you have yeah, to do I hear. healthy yes. paleo. That's correct. You can actually do a combination of keto paleo, knowing get the honey and get the maple syrup out. So that's why they're different. And you need to know your own body. Right. There's also a study that people on a low-fat diet, I don't... That's not something I personally enjoy, right? but you can lose weight on that as well as on a keto diet. People seem to do better on a keto diet for this reason. On the, on the low-fat diet, you're hungry all the time. I went on one of these terrible diets when I lived in California and wanted to be as skinny as her because that's what the boys liked. So when mm. I signed up yeah, for this Yeah, I'm just thing. overloaded with yeah. the boys. I can <laughs> tell you that. I can tell you that. There's okay. no boy. So Danny's going to die when I tell her this. I would drive every morning to get weighed by this company. I paid what? them. And you get like a piece of chicken, no fat, an apple. I was hungry. This stuff I was we hungry do, right? morning, noon, and night. Hungry morning, noon, and night. There was, no, oh. there was no fat. And because I learned as time went on, fat is my friend. I don't know if it's your friend, but it's my friend because it tells the brain you're good. You don't need to eat. I can honestly tell you, I can go 10 hours without eating. Oh, yeah. And yeah, husband, I can too. Husband Doug can too because we are adapted. So I yes. probably go in and out of ketosis because my body is just adapted and I never hangry. There's Leslie. Hey, Leslie. She, she, we got her gluten free and changed her life. Are you serious? Yes. Now Fantastic. Positive. Good pain, job, Leslie. Pain in her hands gone. You bet, gone. Changed. First thing that happened for She's me was pain change. in the hands. Yes, was gone. changed her life. So, um, keep think about. I used to think that I couldn't eat sugar, so I'm in. I'm in jail. Like I'm in prison, being deprived. But the truth is. Sugar keeps you in prison. Changes you bet. your mobility. Sugar keeps you um, in prison. I like that. Changes your sleep. You bet it does. Changes your moods, your moods, your depression, your anxiety. Um, and then the bigger picture is how do we get out of it? So we you know, bet. everybody knows pretty much everything I just said. Food addiction is not laziness. I want, oh, here's another one. You can't ex you can't run off a bad diet. Oh, absolutely! I tell people every yeah. day you can't out supplement a bad diet because yeah. they come in with literally boxes of supplements oh, and tell me what they're taking. And I'm like, you can't out supplement a bad no. diet. What are you eating? No, you I don't can't. care about what you're taking. Yes. What are you eating, what are you lady? Eating? What's food going down the pie hole? Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's why I love Angela. Food is everything. I bet it's, it is. It heals us. And it brings us in community. The ideal yes. day yes. is grabbing your kids yes. into the kitchen, off the computer. Now, I have personal experience doing this, so I know it works. Yes. You can get three-year-olds to make eggs at with pot, pot mitts on, big pot mitts, and stand on a stool. And before they go to preschool, they can make their own eggs. I have personal experience doing this. You can teach kids to, you know, do something in the kitchen if it's, Pour the parsley in or do something. Get everybody in. Don't be a victim to the kitchen. 
Right. Because here's the bad news, which I think is the good news. You cannot get a hold of, you can't take your power back if you don't learn to cook. Yeah, I'm amen. Gonna say it. You gotta you, learn to cook. You, you have, have to. to learn to cook. But I'm here to help because I have figured it out. And I mean, and let me tell you, it's if we don't change our food culture, we might as well climate change, forget climate change, we're gonna all be dead. We're gonna be dead of chronic disease. Oh well, yes, we are. Yeah, we're gonna have right. four-year-olds with fatty liver. We do have we, four year olds with fatty liver. Break we have four year olds with Hashimoto's. We have four year olds who are very sick. I have a I have a four year old in the office, a new patient last month who at the age of two was put on Emerald, Emerald and Humira, which are uh, biologics which close down the immune system for arthritis. They don't know what type of arthritis she has, but she woke up with joints. She's on, I can't imagine what the rest of her life is going to be. She's my youngest patient that I have in the office, I'm four sad. years old, who's on long-term pharmaceuticals that are, are, so we're pulling out all the stops. We're so checking this is, everything. This is sad. Yes. When I was a therapist, I had a six year, no, no, five year old, five year old patient. She was 100 pounds. Oh, she was five. So my heart really is in this for everybody. My, I am so sincere when I say, if I could change the world, I just want to change the food culture. I want to, I, I want to change the food culture so bad, yes. but we, we can't do it alone, but we can do it like this one family at a time, one recipe at a time, one kitchen at a time. The kitchen is really, it's your doctor's office. You bet. We don't, you we bet. want to put Danny out of business. Truthfully. That's right. That's you fine with we, me. We want to put her out Good. of business. Good. I'll go somewhere. Uh, <laughs> I'm fine. Put um, me out of business. I'll just write books and do things like that. Uh, so what are we going to do? All right. So. I know everybody's excuse, but there are none. There are none because all the time you're going to lose in your life next year in five years and 10 years, I don't want you to lose it. So spend some time now, but use it as an engagement for the family, creating family memories, smells. We have lost the smells and the sensuality. The kitchen's really the sexiest room of the house. It really is. And it's the room that lures you in with good smells and good food. And I'm going to tell you on my blog, 1100 recipes, I honestly, sincerely stand in my kitchen and I think about what it's like for you to make that recipe. I don't just put something out. So I make money. My heart is so much in this that I picture you and I'm like, how hard is this going to be? Can they do this? Can I cut this step out? Right, right. So how about some five minute prep? And I don't do instant pot, sorry. And I, I don't have an reasons. instant pot. I want to seduce my food. I want to be in there with it. I, you know, I can do a crock pot. You can do a crock pot. I don't have a man to seduce, um, but I can seduce my food. So seduce. there we go. I'm gonna start. That's my new motto now. Dad got it. Oh. Okay, I do cook in the kitchen all the time. Okay, tell what are we gonna do? We're going to keep in the lower carb. When you have children, we can put potatoes bread. Like if you got skinny kids, we're not putting them on any kind of keto diet, but they're going to eat some of what we eat, which is going to be like our greens, our vegetables, our salads. I That's have right. 30, uh, a, I have a blog post that says 30 low carb vegetables. At that post are beautiful pictures with 75 recipes, 75 Whoa, recipes. That's plenty. That's plenty. But the, and then there's salads. And here's another thing. Throw out your dressings. Oh, you uh, bet. Please. Oh. And let me tell you, this is what you can do to save time. You get a jar, a little mason jar. You put some vinegar in it. Go to Urban Market if you live in the Nashville you area. And, uh, I was there today. I bought three things, two, oil, two oils, one vinegar. Or you can do a $3 red wine. I don't care. Yeah. That's fine. Put a little Dijon mustard. Olive oil is your friend. Please yeah. research that. I could go all night on olive oil. Uh, put it in there. Shake, taste, put it on your salad. I like to mix romaine and arugula because... They both have different nutrients and they just give you like a nice crunch. And I love, you know, if you like chips, just eat salad. And so you got you salad. Like chips, just eat I've salad. Got that should be a bummer sticker. Seriously. Yeah. Cause chips, because chips is that magic fat car. Yeah. So it's a scary food, even though it tastes good, it's scary. That's a scary food. So chicken thighs with cauliflower rice, five minute prep, lamb chops, that that's my like fans best and fancy 17 minutes in the oven. That's a two minute prep. You can get them at Costco for like 14, $15 salmon goes from the stove 
to the oven seven minutes. I have a steak recipe um, that's almost number one in Google, and it's how to make a strip steak, but you can do any steak, eight minutes for our steak. And you can cut the steak like this. You can save money by cutting a steak across, and you don't have to eat the whole steak. You can share with your family if you're cost sensitive. But I got a lot of ground beef recipes because I love my ground beef. I have ground chicken meatballs, ground turkey meatballs, paleo meatballs, freeze like in three. So you got a meal next week and the week after. You bet. You've got um, to be batch cooking. Batch cook. Um, get your get everybody in there. And here's another thing. Kitchen is gender neutral, so don't yes. tell me as a woman if you're in your 20s. I'm not gonna be slaving in the kitchen. I'm a career woman. Well, guess what? I'm a career woman too. Me too. But it's gender neutral. So the boys that have cooked with me since they're one and a half twins, uh, the gender neutral. They don't know that boys don't cook. That's right. My son Jackson is an excellent cook. Yes, excellent. He sends me pictures. I'm like, what in the world? The kid can cook like there's no tomorrow, but I was a horrible mother. I was so stressed out. So I, I'm and, and Angela's saying getting them in the kitchen and these are all the things mm -hmm. you should do. But I was single. I was on food stamps. Oh. I was on a medical card. I was in school full time as a nurse practitioner. It was awful. My life was hell, living hell. We were in three different schools. And the last thing I was trying to figure out was how to get my kids in there. Because quite frankly, I just needed them out of the kitchen so I could prepare anything right. to get us going. And, and I regret that because I, I was so overwhelmed. So I get this you, you for those of you who yeah. say, you don't understand my life. Oh, I do understand it. And I fed them, you know, I, I didn't know that Trader Joe's took food stamps. You know, I mean, now I started shopping right. at all these when I was on Trader oh when I was gosh. on food stamps. And I love all these. All these has great yes, organic yes, things, and I still shop there. Yes, it does. But 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 you, I, don't beat yourself no, up if no. you if you just want them out because it takes longer with a child in the kitchen. And when yeah. time is limited, see, I didn't know, and I wasn't a great planner. So had I had a little bit more time yeah. management skills because that's what it takes. It does. You have to meal prep because you, you cheat when you're not prepared. And, and you don't cheat with salmon and broccoli, JJ Virgin right. says, right? And some of the things you can do is get them to set the table. Yes. Get them to sit there on the stool. Yes. Even if they're playing with the parsley. But if you start them young enough, yes. they get, and here's my rule in the kitchen. You couldn't act out. You couldn't cry. You had to leave and there was a couch. You had to go sit. And then they wanted to come back right away because of the engagement. They love okay. the time. And they do want to be. They want to be with you. And yes. they want to learn Kitchen's these Kitchen's a happy place. The, yeah. No, no fussing. No temperament. We, Sometimes make, this might make it happier yeah, right I here. Made a rule. And then, I mean, seriously. But also, if you're, give them something that, to eat so that they're not, you know, I carried apples <laughs> with me everywhere I went, sliced apples. So we never ran out of food. <laughs> Cause I, That's right. I have a fear of running out of food. That's just who I am. But I carried apples and nuts with me everywhere I went. Okay. And it's just what I did. And then they could hear it's an apple. That's right. You know, uh, but it, getting through the hump, I can't tell you what it's like when kids engage. And we had a, I had a Galentine's party in February and I do this every year. A bunch of women come, they made all, the cheesy eggs on their own. They were 11. The children did? Yes. The yes. Children. They're yes. not my children. They're my friend's children, but they're like my children. So they've cooked with me since they're one and a half years old. Yes. And boy, do they know how to get around the kids. Look, she says, my son loves to cook. I started him with me at two years old, Leslie says. Yes. yes. My son loves to cook with me. Yes, yes Nicole. Yes. And Bravo. yes, absolutely. Bravo. Get them in there. Bravo. Get them in there. And they do. And they love to spiralize. Yes. They will spiralize. They will do. Oh, now that yes. would be a great thing. They we didn't buttons. have a spiralizer right. when my kids oh, were they love little. It. And purple cabbage. I have purple cabbage cooked and raw, raw uh, salad, purple cabbage. Give them the purple cabbage. It's beautiful when it comes out. Get a relationship with food and pass it down. Food is, you know, in the old days, like 100 years ago to, <laughs> to, to 10,000 years ago, people spent all their day on food. Yes. You know, we don't do that. Yes. And then we kind of think we just want the goal when food is also is the journey. Yes. And you can get them off the computers and they'll tell you stuff they don't normally tell you. That's you know, right. Kids come in from school and you go, how was your day? Fine. 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 What'd but, you learn? 
nothing. nothing. I mean, it was 12 years of that, right. fine and nothing, fine and nothing. But all of a sudden, they're in the kitchen with you. And do you know what happened today? And like all of a sudden, they start talking. I think engagement, you'd only have your kids a short time. Yes, You're you did. Pass this legacy down. And you might not like hearing it, but if you try it, you cannot imagine the love relationship you can bring into your house with your kids and you're bonding and you're getting them off of this. Yes. Trust me, I've lived through this and I know it works. So I have some breakfast. I'm going to go okay. and tell you I've got like some keto Dutch baby that you just mix in a bowl. You don't need any kind of special thing for that. You bake it in the oven. I love stuff you bake in the oven because I'm like, my hands are off of it and it's going to be delicious and I'm going to eat it with blueberries. Grain-free biscuits, grain-free tortillas. Uh, Her grain-free biscuits are amazing. on, that's they the are. one recipe, there's, a, there's an enchilada or enchilada, I don't know how you say it, my kids make fun of me, on the refrigerator, and there's a grain-free biscuit it's, recipe on the refrigerator, and it's hers. So we do Keto Thanksgiving every year, which yes. is bizarre, but it's so delicious because I make grain-free stuffing and sugar-free cranberry sauce, and I make a uh, starch-free gravy, and I make cauliflower mashed potatoes. Nobody knows the difference. That's right. And I make green beans like almond deep with some almond butter. So we don't need that slop. I hate to say it, but some of that food is slop. And uh, I feel good on the Friday, good Friday. I mean, what do you call it? That's Black, right. Black, Black Friday. Friday. Not I good have, Friday. Black have, Friday have, is have, good Friday for you. I right. have energy to go shopping. That's right. right. That's so right. Three I in the morning, wanna, up and out. I want to pass that down. Um, eggs. Now she can't, but I can. So I have 15 frittatas. They're make heads. But I also do a grain-free biscuit where I scramble the egg in it and I bake them in muffin tins and they freeze phenomenal. Ooh. Phenomenal. I'm telling you, you got to get on her website. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. A couple months ago, I started a home keto bakery, which is bizarre, never planned it, but somebody ordered something from me and I made it just for fun and they were three dozen that night. And I have not been without orders since. People are calling me from Dallas, Texas, and will I ship? People are saying to me, this is honestly got truth, we're coming to the Opryland Hotel next month. Can we drive and pick some keto bakes up? I'm like, oh my gosh, what? Is that what this is? That's what all of this That's is. That's what all of this is. These are delicious. Which one has the orange? This one on the left? Oh. Yeah, I think it is. That looks like orange zest. I said for me. orange. Yes, yeah, okay, orange. okay. You, you so, talk, and I'm going to try this. We've got orange, and today this guy tra tried chocolate where where I was, and he was. Well, amazed. you got it. She showed me a text the message so that good. she made it something for him, and he texted her tonight and said it, or today, and said yep. it was the best he'd ever had. It was a kid, like twenty. He ordered a birthday cake. I didn't know who it was for. He came to pick it up yesterday. I said, who is that birthday cake for? He goes, my grandfather. So and I'm so good. He drove from Antioch like an hour in traffic yesterday. I said, your grandfather, does he have diabetes? Because this is all great for diabetes. He goes, no, he's on the keto diet. So, so far, my customers have ranged from like 19 to 89. Uh, that's amazing. But this is even more amazing. Do you know what this tastes like? Isn't that texture. Okay. Right? Do you know what this tastes like, what? but better? But I ate these for years. Do you guys ever eat the orange scones at Panera? Oh. The orange scones at Panera. Do you know, Doug? Yes. Because I would go and get two of those with coffee. But, and then I would hurt the next day. I wonder why I was hurting. This, oh my gosh, this tastes just like an orange scone from Panera. So what I do is I boil an orange. I cut it up, I boil it, I pulverize it, and each one of 12 has just one twelfth of an orange in it. So I call that still keto friendly. It's one twelfth of an orange. So you're not getting like the orange sugar spike. Um, I've got sweet potato over there for you. Um, I made her, all of hers dairy free. This is unbelievable. So Does I'm, this have swerve in it? Yeah, it has swerve. I'm thrilled. I, I okay, worked, this is great. This I is worked, I mean, I didn't test this beforehand, so okay. She did not. Uh uh. I have worked hard on these recipes. I'm gonna eat the whole thing while she talks. So here's why I do these cakes. Because the one thing that takes people off of any diet plan is I gotta have a sweet. Mm -hmm. And then they break. But that sweet that they grab, and I don't care if they grab it at Whole Foods, I don't care where they grab it from, Gigi's cupcakes, wherever. I shouldn't even mention any of these foods. They say grab the food. Uh, they can't eat one. Now the brain, That's right. the brain is You're hacked right. all over again. You're right. It's not about the calories now. It's about what is this food doing to you? Well, now they've eaten sugar. Boom. Sugar and fat. 
uh, especially cupcakes, a lot of sugar, a lot of fat in a cupcake. And then the next day, they go off and into the wilderness of a thousand more calories than they need. And then they go, well, then tomorrow I'll start. But then they can't stop. They got to get a latte with sugar in it. And they can't stop. That's right. And if you're really seriously food addicted, it's like an alcoholic. This is like, you just go have, you're, you're a new alcohol, recovering alcoholic. You're right. You're new, and now I'm going to go have a glass of wine. Well, the thing is you can't, you don't have to drink. And I don't drink right. all the time. I got a whole refrigerator full of wine but in there those on the that party. Are you can go without drinking. You can go without smoking. Right. You can go without doing drugs. You can go without smoking weed. You can not, you don't need any of those to survive, but you have to yeah. eat. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. have to eat. And it, it, it must right. be, and, I, and I've not had that problem. It must be the worst addiction known to man. Yeah. And they know that. Because everything revolves around a meal, it right? All the good times, all the bad times, and funerals I, to weddings to babies revolve yes, around a meal. And I love that. Well, I did too. The right meal. Yes. Yes. I yes, love yes. that. I mean, this is the pleasures of our life. Life is hard. Life has tough stuff that happens. We can sit down with a, a delicious dinner with our friends. You know, growing up, I told you how hard it was for me. And I remember writing in a journal, we did have some good food at the table because I'm Italian <laughs> and they ate whole food, you know, beside the sugar that I was eating over here. But I wrote, it was the only hour of the day that I was happy, like that, that I looked forward to. That Around was, the table. That was peaceful. We're sitting at the table and it here. Was, it was the one place no one fought mm. and threw furniture. We fought at my table you and know. we <laughs> stood up and yelled and <laughs> ran away and tossed things off and oh my and gosh, they, And they, they wouldn't allow TV on during meals because we sat Perfect. and talked, that Italian culture of sitting and talking. But that was my respite was just having some joyful time sitting and talking. And then maybe when dinner's over, everybody's crazy again. Um, but I want that for everybody. I mean, if I could have the genie lamp, I wouldn't even wish anything for myself. Exactly. I, I sincerely could cry real tears about my wish for the world. And it's to bring our food culture to where it brings joy and health and meaningful memories yes. to people and to families and to not be just eating in the car, but to actually tasting food with a clean palate. And that is really my wish. And, and well, let's start it. Yeah. So how One, do we vote for change? Oh, how do we vote for change? Three yes. times a day. If you eat three times a day, vote with what you eat. Those food companies cannot make the food if we do not buy it. That's we right. Cannot. I will not allow soda in my house for the last 20. Oh, years. I haven't had soda. In my house. I couldn't tell you. Uh, I don't, just, just don't even know listen, when we've had one. Cause, um, cause it's higher level. I'm making a stand. You bet. I'm a political yeah, you activist vote for food. with your yes. wallet, right? Yes, I mean, we're not going to change um, the top up there, but we can change the food. But I mean, I, that's exactly right. And when it gets into their back left hip pocket, right. they start to make some changes. That's they right. will start to make some changes and they have, slowly right. but all you have to do is follow the money trail to know who's who's running this this food industry you know and the it's money, terrible follow the money exactly. follow the money trail follow the money and be, and be very careful of snacks oh you gosh walk into whole foods it says paleo cheetos or oh it's cr just terrible like ella snacks. tells me what junk because ella works at whole foods snacks. and she tells me the junk that people come through the oh, checkout counter with all the package process bagged stuff there and it's just junk you know and what i love that you said the best quote of the entire thing on here is that cooking is self-care it's self-care what i never even thought that should be a bumper sticker a t-shirt uh it should be all over a meme cooking is self-care self right my mom still cooks she's 84 you bet it's a, self -care. right yeah. i mean a manicure self-care a massage is self-care self -care. meditation is self-care but cooking truly feeds the soul, right? I mean, that's amazing. Cooking is self-care and it's gender neutral. It's gender neutral. And I'll say one There's nothing thing. sexier than a man cooking in a kitchen. Uh, what yeah. would I know? I mean, I'm yeah. not one of my kitchen cooking, but I remember. <laughs> in Italy, in Italy, oh my gosh, everybody is slender, like slender. And they and drink wine. They drink wine. And they eat the and bread they eating, and they eat the cheese. They are eating some pasta, but guess what? The pasta is like this. Yes. Much. It's this much. So don't say, you know, oh, 
look at Italy, but they don't have any snack food in the grocery stores. They, yes, that's true. I was they there. They eat their main meal early. They eat a small meal later. They might have a gelato in the afternoon, like we did, or a cappuccino or a, an espresso, and they even serve that in a cup because the culture is the food. And there's no snacky stuff. Like, there's none of that. But I walked around Milan. That's really thin there. Yes. I'm like, oh, my gosh, these people are so beautiful. Yes. Slender. Yes. And they're all dining. And they have the joy of eating. So, and they don't want to let that go. They're, they fight for it. They fight with uh, the, the way they do their food gets um, stamped, like DOP and, uh, you know, thousands of years of um uh, the way that things are prepared, they don't want to let that go. That's right. They don't want to become America with food. No, they don't. I had the best risotto yeah. I've ever had in my oh. entire life in Milan. Oh I gosh. still remember it to this day. Oh, oh my gosh. It's just, it just was magical. See, so we do love food and we want you to love it. We want you to be happy. We want you to have happiness. I just want people to be happy with this. I know. How do you cook at home? How do you really cook? How do I really cook? It's yeah. on the blog. Uh, but some people say, well, do you do fancy? Like, I have some fancy, longer, like, beef brignol I make once in a while. I make it low carb. But that's kind of a special occasion. But how we actually really cook, I'll do the quick steak, uh, the quick lamb chops. Sometimes if we're making a bigger meal, oh, I've got spaghetti squash stuff that's so good with mushrooms and Italian sausage. Coming up when what? our weather gets oh, cold. Oh, I love spaghetti. Uh, oh, okay. Oh. We could talk about seasonal eating. Because yes. I talk to my patients yes. about this all the time. We need to eat in season. We Strawberries do. are we not do. made to be eaten 12 months a year, right? We're coming up on the root vegetables and yes. the spaghetti squash and the big oh. stews and the soups yes. and the hearty foods. turnips. The turnips. turnips. I love turnips. I put and turnips parsnips. in my stew instead of potatoes. Oh my gosh. Yes. And we're not designed to eat the same food 12 months a year. We're not, we're not designed to do the same things 12 months a year. The animals in nature don't no, do that. No, they not. hunker down in the fall and winter, yeah. and they may actually she's, gain a few pounds, she's, right? She's actually right. They calm down. They they slow down. They are not balls to the wall <laughs> 90 miles an hour, right, 12 months a year. Right. And we don't take the time to calm down, we to don't. slow down, to rest and to heal, and then come out in the spring refreshed, renewed, recharged, and eating the spring and summer vegetables, you know, so you need to eat in season. Yeah, and, and, and we don't even take the same supplements 12 months a year. We change things. Many times your thyroid needs go up in the fall and winter because it's fall and winter. And so sometimes I have to bump up the thyroid medicine in my patients in the fall, and then I bring it back down in the spring. We don't think about the seasonal side of it. That's a whole nother Sunday that night service. That's a whole nother Sunday night service. I want there, to there see that. There are a couple one. questions that someone asked. Oh, oh, Doug's uh, telling us he's monitoring over here. This works great. Kimberly asked if is keto safe for Hashimoto's. I thought it wasn't good for someone with thyroid issues. Okay, so ketogenic. Kimberly's asking, is it safe for Hashimoto's? Now, Angela can speak to this because she has Hashi. Well, you put it in remission. I don't know, but whatever. I, is it safe for Hashimoto's? My numbers got better yes. with eating that way. Um, well, I, if you're eating the ketogenic you're eating, you're not eating any grains. Gluten's the number one yeah. inflammatory agent for the thyroid. Number one. If you are diagnosed with Hashimoto's, you must cut out gluten so immediately. True. Otherwise, you will never bring it into remission. You will not. I don't miss it. I don't That's miss so it. Weird. Oh, I miss dairy so badly. Gluten, I don't give a rat's now, tail about gluten anymore. Now, some can't do dairy. You can do dairy on keto. Yes, you can. But, but, but if you're not losing weight, you should you can cut that cheese out. That's what I would say. That's like, right. I know for me, I can stay the same weight eating dairy, but if I want to lose a few pounds, I need to cut dairy out. Yes. I just know that that's how that works. For yes, me. absolutely. And you need to know your own body and you need to test it. I have heard of people doing amazingly well on the ketogenic diet with the Hashimoto's. Um, so you have to test that for yourself and then do your own modifications. Absolutely. You might be better doing paleo without sugar. You sure. know, without honey and sure. maple, and maybe you can eat the sweet potato. But again, I've seen people on paleo eating like ten sweet potatoes a day. Like, so you have to know. Don't uh, don't fool your own self. You you'll know what you need to do. I'm just a huge fan of a Mediterranean lifestyle, yeah. and I'm and so excited yeah. about because let me tell you, her ancestors they eat a Mediterranean lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, the, it, yeah. the Italians eat Mediterranean. Yes, the they Spanish, do. Yes, they, they do. Greeks, you know all that. 
So, so this combination of keto and Mediterranean is very interesting. I cannot I wait to learn I, about I that. I love that. But something that I tell patients that we don't talk enough about, and I know we only have 10 minutes and this is good, is portion control. We eat too much when we eat. We, we may be eating. You know, I just ate a half of that, and I'm totally fine. I think 100 fine. I think I tell people a half is really a serving. Okay, well then there you go. Yes. When you go to a restaurant and you order your meal oh, before they even bring the meal out, you tell the server, Angela is my server. I want you to box up half my di my meal, my dinner, half of it before it ever comes out. Wow. Just bring me half the meal. That's genius. I'm gonna. It is genius. That I is just genius. came up with that one day. I love patient. that. Just tell them because if it's on the plate, I'm gonna pick around because you're talking, you're 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 right. with community, you know, and you're you're whatever you're doing all this. But if you ask them to just bring out half the meal, package the rest for the next day, you will never miss it. It's like saving or tithing. If you take it out of the paycheck before it's ever comes to you, you don't ever miss it. Miss it. But would they give us too much food? And at home, we have too much food as well. So one of the things the ketogenic diet does is it reduces your appetite. It just, because of the yeah, fat? Because of the fat and yeah. because when you're in ketosis, it just completely, if you really yes. have a hunger problem, it is a good start and then you okay. could modify. But if you, you know, and you know, if you have a hunger binge problem, it is the yes. quickest way to get unhungry. So I'm not usually hungry till I get food near me. I, it's, it's yeah, I'm the same it's, way. It's a strange thing. I'm the same way. But that's adapted. That is, I am adapted to that. And now I'll tell you something funny. Now I'm a little different. If I'm out with friends and it's noisy, or I'm at the connect group and it's very noisy, I can't eat with noise. Now I'm weird. It shuts me down. Really? Other people no, I can eat can't, and sleep anywhere. Can't tell they're hungry or full with noise. So oh. you might be the opposite and you're out and it's noisy, but you your brain can't okay. register fullness. You need to know who you are. Now for me, I lose my appetite in noise. Okay. I know. And it's something I discovered about myself. That's not a terrible thing. Two more, two more, more questions. questions. Uh, questions. Uh, Louise asks, is keto safe long term? Yeah, long term. Um, I have seen a lot of people do it long term. I don't think it was meant for long term. I don't think so either. I tell patients that. And I think what you do is you start making some adjustments. Yes. And you start bringing some carbs back in. One of the yes. ways you bring carbs back in and just be smart about it, you bring a lot more vegetables mm -hmm. back in. You, you can have a turnips and sweet potatoes. I'm a person that can eat some potato and it doesn't trigger me. That me might too. not be you though. Right. So you need to know who you are. Some people can eat quinoa. The, the, when you start to bring your carbs back in, bring them back in healthily. But you can then, some people do this, they'll lose the weight they need and then you need to really practice healthy eating for maintenance or you will, get, and if you're not serious about this, you'll gain every single pound back. You will. So you've got to say this is going to be a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Uh, it is out, not a diet. It is a lifestyle. Cut out sugar before anything. If you bring some grains back in, not gluten, hopefully, but don't bring sugar back into your diet. It's fun to ask if keto is safe for diabetics. Well, not only is it safe for diabetics, there is so much research. Go to, um, what is it, Maria's Keto Adapted website, The Reversal the reversal of type two diabetes. You will see research over and over and over and over again. People are reversing type, the type two diabetes. And this is something I didn't tell uh, Danny, but three years ago, for the first time in my physical, my glucose was like 110 or 120. Yeah, that's high. And it wasn't normal for me, it was 120. My doctor goes, oh, you're fine. No, you're not. But I did have stress that week, but I didn't pay attention to it. Well, I went back now after my keto lifestyle. It's 96. And this, yeah, which will always was 96. But right, right. What, as soon as I saw that spike in my blood sugar, I freaked out. Sure. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. Well, you made a decision and you made a change. Yeah. And, and, and some people freak out and then just stress out and just give up because they don't know where to start. Where would you recommend somebody start? Like, do you have a book? I mean, is there any, you personally don't have a book, but clearly her recipes are great and unbelievable. But is there a resource that anyone who's kind of wanting to read and learn about? Did you I, read something? I 
Yeah, yeah. You did? What? Is it terrible? <laughs> yeah. I was, what, 18 and read a book. Oh, you read a little 79-cent book 70, at the checkout. It check was another 79-cent low-carb book, and I did keto sticks when no one heard of it. I was all alone in the... in the um, P and on a stick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was all alone in the keto world oh, as a word. teenager. So, um, I, M M uh, Maria, um, oh, what is her name? Maria Keto Adapted. Just Google Maria Keto Adapted. She's so famous. She's got so much information on the keto lifestyle. And she, she has she has medical testimonies on her website. So she is really a go-to because she's more, like, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not either. I'm not either. She's got, so you know that, she's got, like, the goods on that on how much and then you get a keto calculator it will ask you what your uh, you know activity is what you weigh what your goal weight is and do you have a specific one that you like or no like, which one do you use what, doug what app keto app uh, do you use so so i'm looking online right now keto diet app so just on your on your app store Doug's right keto diet that's what they keto use. diet keto, on the app store keto app what's keto it look like? what's it look like doug just a fully squared. And it just says keto. keto. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Yes, so that's, that's it. it right there. If you, I don't know if it's going to, yeah. Is that it? Yeah. yeah Is that right. the that's same it. one? That's it. Okay. That's, that's, that's the one right yeah. there. That's a good app. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, Doug. And is it free? It, it is free. Okay. Uh, so you, I'm going to download it. Oh, no. I'm sorry. It's not free. I'm it's not it's free. Subscription. It, it's an annual but or monthly subscription. Okay. It's really cheap. I think it's like $10 a year. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's not bad. So then it will tell you exactly how much fat you should have your carbs your protein and your calories because remember calories count you bet they do they count because you can't go up to 5,000 calories of cheese that's right and this this app lists food from lots of different restaurants yeah. and okay. gives you all the health data it's got a barcode scanner so you can go in the grocery scan the barcode and it'll tell you the nutritional information okay oh okay and there's one other thing that the keto diet every single person that I have ever talked to that has done the keto diet because it was originally in the 1800s created for epileptics for seizures. Yes, that's correct. The biggest thing that all of the people that come to my door and pick up the bakes, I talk with everybody because I have all walks of life coming. So I get to find out their story. Brain fog lifts. Yeah. Brain, you're right. Brain fog lifts and they feel an energy and a better mental capacity and who yep. doesn't want that? that's exactly right and then you have you know uh you you have more stamina to stay the course of self-care you have more stamina when the you brain works because we only have so many no's a day There's and i'm going to tell you something and it's quick i mean i don't, I don't i'm not a ketogenic but I, I, I am so looking forward to doing some research on a mediterranean yeah, yeah, keto, yeah, keto yeah. diet i mean i really really am but it is fast. When you cut out gluten, dairy, sugar, yeah. it is quick. quick. It is quick. But I mean, it has to be 100% initially. Yeah. There's none of this. No. I'm no. going to go to Cracker Barrel on the weekend oh, with my no. family. No, you can't no, do that. No, no. I'm just telling you. And Cracker yeah. Barrel is not a horrible place because you all know I met with Cracker Barrel. and the CEO yeah. of Cracker Barrel. And, you can't play. And we, you can't play you with can't it play initially. With you have got to go full, full course, full, full course, Full court, Full press. court press. Yeah, that's right. And it works Straight for on. any age. My oldest pay, uh, client customer is 69. She just lost 40 pounds. I made red velvet for her birthday. My clients are so committed that they won't cheat on their birthday. That's right. They are clamoring for me to make birthday cakes. I'm telling you, Angela, we got two minutes left. What do you have I, anything to say? I, what? I just love you. I love you. I just love you. And I'm we could talk forever. So do you have anything that. I'm so happy to be your joy of eating. I want that to go in people's heads, That's it. into their heart, and pass it to their children. You just have to. That's right. That's a great way to end it. But you do have to be joyful and you have to eat mindfully. Mindfully. We just inhale food. I mean, yeah. just. Just like that, and just go, and it's everywhere. And we take less than fifteen minutes to eat our meal. If you eat less than if it takes you less than fifteen minutes to eat your meal, you're creating systemic inflammation. Oh my gosh! Thank you for that. I needed to hear that. That's and we eat awesome. in the car, and we take the kids, and we feed yeah. them in the car on the way yeah. to school, I, and then on the way to soccer practice, yeah. and then on the way to ba I, baseball, basketball. I mean, these oh kids are gosh. so over. 
overextended. That's it's terrible. not even funny, but I mean, we could talk all about that. But you've yeah. got to eat mindfully. mindfully. You have to walk mindfully. You, you have to breathe. You, it's a mindset on, on your whole life and philosophy and worldview. You need to you change the worldview. So you don't bet. forget SpanishTiger.com. But guess what? Yes. On Instagram, yes. that's where I really want to meet people. Yes. I do stories every day showing my bakes, showing she my does. cooking, showing my cat. She so does real just, cooking videos. Right. I do all the debacles that happen yeah. in my house. Hers I mean, are like professional. I have. So YouTube, SpanishTiger.com. Instagram, SpanishTiger.com. Facebook. Spencetiger.com. Um, and if you do want to look at what I offer on the bakery, yes. just go to spinachtiger.com and in the navigation bar it says my keto bakery or whatever. It's something like that. So, but Instagram is where I love to meet people and actually connect. I yes. have so much fun doing that. Yeah. So this has been great. Instagram is fun. No, thank it's you. I, I I literally yesterday texted her and said, Hey, yeah. you want to come over tomorrow night and do this? And she was like, Yeah, sure. And guess what else she agreed to do? The Hashimoto's oh, right. support group Christmas party, which of course is once a year, is November the 15th. It's November this year instead of December because my schedule. And we are have Angela is speaking at the Hashimoto support group meeting. And the only requirement is for you to come is I'm having everybody, because I had the meeting Friday night, everyone's going to make a spinach tiger recipe. Because it's a potluck. Oh, that's Every fun. year we do a potluck. That is so so if you decide to come, I'm making chicken Marcella. I already know what I'm doing <laughs> in November. So uh, <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't know anything else. Oh, this cakes. is what I'm doing. She'll bring keto cakes. Bring keto but cakes. I am making her chicken Marcella. I'm so excited. But that is November the 15th, 630 at Integrative Family Medicine. If you have Hashimoto's, then there we go. We're going to be there. Um, maybe for our book launch, when we do a book, uh, book deal, we'll have Angela there and you know, so we'll see. But anyway, next Sunday night, Sunday night service. And I know we're going over is Dr. Justin Deering again, part two. If you don't know Justin Deering, he will change your world. We're going to be talking and I'm reading this cause he just texted me this. He was on an airplane in Chicago and I was texting him and, um, Gut brain access next week. We're going to talk about the neurological conditions like dementia, Ooh. Alzheimer's, and other neurodegenerative disorders. We're going to learn, learn more about prevention and how we treat those conditions successfully. He's going to share the testimony of a patient of mine who's seen him who has Alzheimer's, has oh, been wow. diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and it's slowing down. I saw him this week or last week, and it's unbelievable. We're going to use the gut brain access reset. It's one of those successful interventions, but there's so there's so much more. He has his own protocol. So that'll be next Sunday night, 6.30 here at the house. Dr. Justin Deering, I am thrilled to death. So that's going to be fun. Angela, thank, thank you. You're I, welcome. I just love this woman. Oh, and I, I mean, she's changing families one meal at a time. And she's changing lives one meal at a time and 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 i mean families changing people's trajectory of their entire life of their children one meal at a time that's right and that's huge it is that's huge because we are so we are what we eat it is as simple as yeah. that we do not have to complicate this and if you don't want to eat a ketogenic diet and if you don't want to you know like be bogged down with mediterranean and paleo just eat real food and, and eat more vegetables and no sugar. Yeah, no sugar. And no sugar. I mean, gluten, dairy, sugar, gluten, sugar for gluten sure. Sugar dairy, for sure. my office manager can eat dairy. I cannot. Now, mm -hmm. she can eat dairy. It's never on her food sensitivity results. She can eat dairy. Most people cannot right. eat dairy without a systemic inflammation. And they don't realize that that migraine headache could be dairy, or the joint pain could be dairy, or the bloating or the insomnia or the anxiety or the, you know, whatever it could right. be. I mean, it could be anything, the skin itching, all that, but gluten, sugar, hands down oh, yeah. are two of the white devils. Three of them are gluten, I dairy, sugar. <laughs> they are the white devil. Inflammation is the devil. Three it white devils, devil. straight up devils. Okay. Anyway, we love you guys. We could talk all night and we're, right. ah, we're five minutes over. It's a great time. I hope you meal prepped today. I hope you got outside. I got my shoes off. I walked. I hope you're ready for tomorrow. Whatever it takes, it's eight o'clock central time. Get ready for tomorrow. Do not get up tomorrow morning behind already. It sets the tone for the day and it's not good. Okay. Right. And as women, 
we set the tone for the entire household. Oh, we have the power. We have all the power. Mm -hmm. The husband may be the head of the household. Well, he is, not maybe, he is. But I'm telling you right yeah. now, the woman we runs do. the ship. We, we can change the worldview. We can change we the worldview and we can change yeah. our children. We set the tone for what happens in that house. Change be mine. prepared. That's right. Well, be prepared. We, we rule the economy because we make the choices. We do. We purchase. That's exactly right. Women purchase more. Yes, so they do. Take that power and use it wisely. Use it right. for good, yeah. not evil. All right, right, guys, we love you. Sunday night service. Danny Williamson Wellness on Instagram, Spinach Tiger on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook. Gotcha. Love you. Oh, my goodness. That was fun. Harlan snoring.